Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, diagnosing some engine problems on these little two-cylinder gas motors. This is a Kohler SP27, Kohler Command SP27. It has a it has a horizontal shaft. You see the shaft coming out the side of the block there. A horizontal shaft motor. It actually has a shaft coming out the front and the back of it. If you can see the shaft coming right there under the exhaust pipe. Um, this motor, I'll, go, I'll give you the diagnosis that I made of it so you can understand the series of things that I had to go through to figure out what the problem was. Um, I read a lot of blog stuff and check a lot of YouTube videos um, when I have a problem with something to see if it's something that I can actually repair myself rather than have to stop, take it to a shop, drop it off, and all that kind of good stuff and pay the extra money for the labor and whatnot that you have to do at a shop. So anyway I thank all of you who put out YouTube videos who actually uh, put out good information on these types of machines um, so that we all can help ourselves so to speak. On this particular motor everything that I read and, and seen on it was that the left side left side spark plug right here fouls out it actually um, corrodes up and fouls out there's actually oil that gets by this cylinder somehow and into the spark plug and actually fouls the spark plug out so originally I thought you know maybe that's my problem uh, when it started missing and misfiring and um, just power was terrible couldn't get a couldn't get it to really run that good so I thought well here's what I'll do and um, so what I did I took pull that spark plug out it was fouled out it, it, it looked bad so I put a nice new clean spark plug in there thinking that would cure my problem however that did not cure my problem so my next thing was um, I thought maybe well maybe not maybe if that's not it maybe it's a a issue with firing the actual fire coming to the spark plug maybe there's a bad wire maybe there's a bad coil maybe something like that so my thoughts were okay originally I wanted to pin it on the left side I wanted, so I pulled the left side wire off and the machine wouldn't do it all the time. It would only do it when it got good and hot. It would, it would, it would quit when it got good and hot. So I said, well, I'm going to pull the side off and see which side is firing and which side is not firing. I pulled the left side off. It would not crank and run at all with the left side off. So I put the left side back on, pulled the right side off, and the right side was my problem it would run off the left side but it wouldn't run off the right side so at that point I realized that my coil for the right side was bad and so I had to replace it now here's here's the old coil that come off of it um, it has two two little prongs going in one wider than the other uh, one of them's a cutoff, one of them's a power supply, whatever. Um, and if you'll notice, it's just two little bolts right here. Two little bolts that hold this thing on. Now, I really wish that I had enough time to have shot this video while I was doing this. It was in the middle of the summer. Did not have time to, to stop and, and make a nice video. I had to get the job done, but... If you see you got two little holes here if you can take this um, take this coil off and take it with you when you go now on the Kohler motor it has a nice little feature right here um, if you'll see right here you got a little cover on each side you got one cover on this side one cover on the other side over here these covers are right in front of the coil and you can you can look and see if there's a wire off inside here one of these two little wires 
if there's a wire that's broken you can check to make sure that your connectivity is good with your coil and just visibly check by taking this little cover off right here um, so first that's what I did I checked all that and I couldn't visibly see anything that, that was wrong but on these motors some coils that have two wires some of them are three some of them you have to change both coils at the same time and you have to change another little piece in there I forget what it is but this happens to be one of the older ones and it only has one coil you have to change it one at a time you're okay so you have to check all that junk um, it's kind of scary when you think about it but there's a little box that runs these things um, and I think it's right here I'm not sure and I forget the name of it but sometimes you might have to replace that little box right there but if but if the box is bad I think both coils won't run and the new ones have the little the ignition box there it's kind of built into the coil so that's why you have to replace both of them together but anyway replacing this the really the biggest trouble with replacing it um, especially on a motor like this that has a shaft coming off the front like this first you have to take this shroud off this little screen wire four bolts in there and they're long bolts they come all the way they go all the way in and they hold your fan in and they have um they have like a through bolt through a uh, through a rod or a a um, like a little dowel in there and then it uh, holds a fan on and that comes off and you don't have to take the shaft off right here um, you can take this off you want enough room to move this shroud back enough to get to the coil which the coils are right underneath here they're right they're right there by the flywheel so you have to take all these little bolts off all the way around. You have to take your like your fuel pump right here, take it off and just let it lay loose. And all these other little bolts all the way around, top and bottom, to get the shroud off. Once you get to the coil, there's two bolts right here. And you see it's got a little bit of room for an adjustment once you take this coil off and the adjustment here is about the size of a credit card a lot of times with your new coil you will get a you will get um, a little piece of paper that comes in the coil that's the same width as what you need for your um, your gap I forget the gap spacing um, what it is in thousands or whatever please forgive me you have to check that in a in an owner's manual or a, or a Kohler book or something like that. Now, if you're doing it on a vertical shaft motor, actually it's a little bit easier because everything's up top. All these little bolts right here will come come around. You know, your shroud up here, you take that off. And this is a Kawasaki versus Kohler, but they're pretty much the same as far as um, the uh, coil is concerned. So you take all that out, and a lot of times you have to take the breather and stuff. You have to take that loose to get the the shroud off or the air um, shroud, the top cover, engine cover. But anyway, on the uh, color over here, um, it probably took a good couple of hours to take this coil pack out, put the new one in, um, to set it and adjust it, and when I put it back together it ran it ran fine um, but I would say you know the level of difficulty in that the, the most difficulty that you're gonna have is taking this this shroud off that that cover off and the tightness of it. it's gonna be a little bit tight when you go to put this in and make sure when you put your wires on you put you put two new ends on your wires, crimp them down really good, heat, heat shrink them and all that to keep all the trash and dust out of them. Do everything that you need to do to get an absolutely perfect connection right here. And hope that helps somebody.